Hey, what's up you guys? Perry the Entertainer here, giving you guys another video. Gonna be giving you guys basically an update, uh, updates on three major guys, and uh, those three guys are Kevin Nash, Jeff Hardy, and Kurt Angle. Now, I talked about Kurt Angle and Kevin Nash, but I did not talk about uh, Jeff Hardy. So, without further ado, let's get this started before this whole shit starts again. So, might as well just get it started now. Um, so let's start with the main topic, basically, uh, Kevin Nash. Now, as I reported yesterday, I think yesterday, was it yesterday or was it the other day before, but whatever, I reported one of these two days that Kevin Nash has actually been released from the WWE, and it turns out to be apparently true because, um, reportedly, allegedly, uh, Nash actually had to leave because he is dieting for a movie and, you know, WWE doesn't want to do that wear and tear stuff. They don't want to put him on a tremendous uh, travel schedule. So I definitely think this is a great uh, thing for WWE. You know, let him go now. Let him have his movie. And then, you know, bring him back after filming is ending. But the main question at hand is if Kevin Nash is out of this, what's going to happen now? What's going to happen with Triple H and CM Punk? They can't bring in another guy. I mean, they can't bring in Big Show to come back for his place. Big Show doesn't have the... He doesn't have, he's not that unique. He's not as unique as Kevin Nash is. Kevin Nash is unique. He, he, he has a certain style of wrestling that I really like. And I don't know if you guys like it, but me personally, I am a fan of Kurt, of, uh, Kevin Nash's wrestling. Big Show, not really. But if Big Show, if they decide to bring Big Show into this, am I, will I be surprised? I guess, I guess. You know, they actually they would bring him in as a heel, but you need someone to come in for uh, Kevin Nash. Um, you know, write him off a of TV, which is what pretty much WWE did uh, this Monday when they fired him on screen. So, not that bad. I mean, really, not that good that he's dieting because then he's soon going to have to get that back if he wants to come back to the WWE to wrestle a match with CM Punk, which is probably going to happen at... Uh, Let's see, what's the next one? What's the next one? Night of Champions? Night of Champions next week? Then we got, what? Helena, no. Helena Cell in October 2nd. And then some, uh, Vengeance, I think, like the 16th of October. So we definitely are going to have a lot of time um, to build up new characters. Basically build up uh, a new Kevin Nash. They do need a new Kevin Nash. If this is all real, if they're really going through with this movie thing. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's a that's what I've been hearing from a lot of people, that he had to leave because he's been dieting for a movie role and he needs to lose, you know, the weight, he needs to lose the muscle, he needs to lose all that stuff, but he's got to get it back after, which is really going to be tough. Uh, I do commend him if this is a real, if this is real, yeah, I definitely will commend him, but if it's fake, you know, definitely a... a uh, very interesting uh, way of putting it. So, anyway, uh, let's move on to the second one. I'm going to talk about Kurt Angle since I've talked about uh, both these two already. Kurt Angle has signed a multi year deal with TNA. In fact, I think it's three years. So, we're going to see Kurt Angle for another three years. He's going to pretty much be under contract during the Olympics. And can I say this is a great thing for TNA? He's definitely one of their best wrestlers on the uh, roster. Uh, with AJ, you know, AJ and the rest of Fortune, Immortal's really old, uh, so really the rest of Fortune, uh, you got Kurt Angle up there, Anderson, that he's getting up there, uh, Sting can't wrestle as good as he used to, uh, he can put on, he can put on his, he can put on good matches, but, no, I can't see it, um, so, basically, He's going to be world champion for probably a while now. They, they had his contract thing. Basically, this proved, disproved my theory of uh, my video to, uh, to whatever. I don't remember exactly what, but when Kurt Angle was pulled over for a DUI, they basically threw it in your face saying, oh, well, we just signed him to a deal, but what the hell with Matt Hardy? I mean, seriously, this guy, what, his first one, he got pulled over for a DUI, and they... They fired him right on the spot, but Kurt Angle gets special privileges. Granted, I know he's an American hero, but still, I mean, treat others with respect. 
Seriously. Oh my god, that makes no sense. Fire this guy who's got to do it one time, or keep this guy who's done it, what, six times the past two years. So, you know, it doesn't balance out. It doesn't make sense. It really doesn't. You know, this is what Kurt Angle's sixth time DUI in two years. This is Matt Hardy's first of the year. What the hell? The, what the hell? Well, granted, Matt Hardy's kind of been on a falling down stairs, pun intended. Uh, he's, he's been tumbling down the stairs. Uh, um, yeah, no pun intended. But s seriously, you're going to keep a guy who's done it six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six times. He's done it six times in the past two years. And Matt Hardy does it once. And you fire Matt Hardy. Why does Angle get special privileges? Exactly. My point. Anyway, um, not, not that I don't respect Angle. I do definitely respect Angle. He's one of my favorite wrestlers. He's one of my favorite uh, characters in general. Um, but still, you got to treat people. I mean, really, would you take up a doped Michael Phelps? Or would you take... Okay, I, can't, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. I'll go with foot. How about I'll go with football or something? How about if the Colts fired Peyton Manning because he got, uh, I don't know, accused for mur? No, Ray Lewis has already done that. Ah, uh, let's see, what what? Uh, beating up a woman. How about that? Uh, how about if Peyton Manning beat up a woman, he got fired for something or something. But Tom Brady does the same thing, and you keep him. In fact, you sign him to a longer deal. Wouldn't that not be fair for Peyton Manning, you know? Wouldn't that really, you know, old grin, and I know Brady, you know, they butt heads a lot, you know. Who's better? I really don't know. I really, iffy, iffy, I have no idea. At this point in time, I think Brady, but, you know, he's gotten injured. But whatever, this isn't, this isn't NFL, this is WWE, TNA, whatever. Anyway, I just wanted to get that out there. I really didn't get exactly the point why TNA fired uh, Matt Hardy for doing the same thing that Kurt Angle did, but they signed Kurt Angle to a longer deal. I really don't get exactly why they did that, but whatever happens, happens. And <clears throat> finally, I will end the show with an update on Jeff Hardy. Now, <clears throat> <clears throat> sorry, this is one guy I haven't talked about on my channel. I really haven't talked about his whole thing with his 2009 uh, drug arrest. But, if you guys don't know already, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, Jeff Hardy returns to TNA tonight. He comes uh, back at the main event or whatever. Yes, I know, only because I don't know how many people made a video on it. I really don't know how many people made a video on that. So, you know, it's basically like when Orton uh, beat Christian for the title. I wanted to actually be surprised, but I couldn't do that because everybody decided to make a video on it. Blah, 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 and I had to make the video early, so... But, anyway, um, the update with him is that he has pled guilty to three of five cases or something like that, and he will have to serve, I'm pulling this off the top of my head, I think, I, I saw it, and I don't remember it off the top of my head right now, but I think it's ten days in jail, a hundred thousand dollar bail or something like that, and he has thirty month probation, I think. I think, I'm not exactly sure, and if he violates probation, they can bring him right back into jail, um, even for a longer period of time. Now, <clears throat> I would definitely make him go to jail um, after TNA filming. I mean, really, Jeff Hardy, when Jeff Hardy was, he when he was toward you know ten 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 back last year, that was when the ratings were going up. That was when the ratings were actually more than WWE at the time because at that time the Miz won the WWE Championship and not everyone liked it. Really, really, really. Anyway, <laughs> but no, when the Miz was the champion at the time, nobody really liked it. You know the ratings were going up, but they weren't as good as TNA's were at the time. Um. I think I'm not. I don't remember exactly the ratings, you know, of TNA. But I remember 2010 was a very, actually an okay year for TNA, especially towards the end, because then coming into 2011, I think he came in with loads of steam, you know, stuff to get off their shoulders and whatever. But they put it, they put it out there like too early. I mean, 
I get why SmackDown is taped early, but they don't tape multiple episodes the same day. I really don't get exactly why they're doing that. But definitely, they got to start. But no, what, back to what I was talking about. Jeff Hardy, when he was toward the 10 10 10 thing before he turned on TNA, before he uh, joined Immortal, um, those were okay ratings. And then I think when Immortal was created, I think was like really their good ratings at the time. I think. I'm not exactly sure. I don't check the ratings every week. Um, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking so because I remember at that time. Everybody's video was on TNA. Everybody. I found, what, two or three videos on WWE. Now, granted, Perry the Entertainer, myself, was not made at the time, but I was actually made in... Yeah, that doesn't sound right. I was born, Perry the Entertainer, was born in January of 2011. So, uh, almost a year, guys, just letting you know. Uh, I will definitely be making a video on the year long, and I'll probably make it, you know, something really cool, something you guys will enjoy. Um, but if you guys don't enjoy this already, um, I've been trying to be as entertaining as I have right now, but anyway, um, but no, he comes back tonight, and I really don't get exactly why they would do it. Um, I, first of all, why would they bring him back now? Granted, I know the reason why is probably because, you know, he was probably like, oh, who was that guy that was in Immortal? He was the world champion. I don't remember his name. You know, they got to make him more visible again. And uh, this is kind of a good way to put it. Now, if you're going to bring him back, I would say bring him back in a pay-per-view and actually, like, have him cost somebody, like they kind of did with Kevin Nash. Same thing with that, but make it more unexpected. Make him, like, like if you guys don't know already, uh, Kurt Angle tweeted or something in an interview that... The main event for No Surrender will be a triple threat match, Mr. Anderson, Sting, and Kurt Angle for the TNA World title. What if Jeff Hardy comes in and screws Angle, giving Angle or Anderson the title? Or spits Sting and Anderson, my bad. But no, I mean, that would make a lot more sense rather than just bringing him back on TV the next week. That really wouldn't make sense to me. But, you know, we'll, also, we'll see what happens No Surrender. Whew, that was a lot of talking, uh, 12.30. Hopefully it doesn't happen again. Um, I really, do, I really hope so. Uh, I saw that same thing happen on my Cody Rhodes Titan Tron that I made. Uh, it said 925.11, and yes, yeah, something will be happening on 925.11. Just letting you put, just putting that out there. So, anyway, Perry the Entertainer signing out, and hopefully it doesn't mess me up. Hopefully, please. Ah, so uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, comment yours down below. What do you think about uh, Nash dieting for a movie role? What do you think about uh, Matt Hardy being fired for one count while Angle has done six? And um, more importantly, what do you guys think about Jeff Hardy returning? Um, what do you guys think about him going to jail? He's go he's actually going to jail, but. At least he actually, like, pled guilty now. Um, so, leave your comments down below. Subscribe up there. Comment, like the video, and give a reaction. Hopefully a good one. Um, so, anyway, Perry the Entertainer signed out, and peace out. Yay, I don't think it's happened.